you're somebody right now struggling with acne, then one day you're probably gonna have to struggle with acne scars. Back when I was dealing with active acne when I was 16 to 22 years old, I didn't realize the impact acne scars would have on my confidence after I've already got rid of the acne. However, throughout the past few months, I've been actually working on my acne scars and now I am pretty confident on how they are turning out. That's why in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you not only how I treated my acne, but also how I got rid of my acne scars and how you can too, or how you can be proactive against it. So as I stated, I I had pretty bad acne when I was a teenager up until around 22, 23 years old. I've had, had time periods where it was more worse than others. However, I had cystic acne, which means it left a certain type of acne scar that looks almost like dents or craters in your face. And if you don't know anything about acne scars, there are mostly two types, atrophic and hypertrophic. I had atrophic acne scars. Think of the ice pick or even rolling box scars, sort of the acne scars that leave almost craters on your face. If you have hypertrophic acne scars, these are more pigmented acne scars that can be relatively easily fixed with the right ingredients. However, atrophic acne scars are not so easy and at the time frame, I didn't realize that. So I was about 24 years old and my acne has died down a ton. So I was out there searching on methods how to now get rid of these atrophic acne scars that I had on my face. I went to a dermatologist, I went to some clinics and everybody kept telling me to get lasers, microneedling, chemical pills. So I listened to them, right? I got two chemical pills done. I got four laser treatments done. Um, and I got four micro needling sessions done over the course of two to three years. So from 24 to about 26, that's all I had done to try and fix my acne scars. However, the results were minimal. All that stuff can give about 10 to 20 percent fix or increase in the appearance of the scars however if you want to fix it about 75 to 90 percent it will never be 100 percent keep in mind you need to have a surgical approach to your acne scars now before we get into what the surgical approach actually is if you guys are actually dealing with active acne right now and you don't have a skincare routine then i'm gonna need you to check out today's sponsor teach hanley teach hanley has been my go-to skincare routine since around 2018 so I've definitely been using this for a very, very long time. And Teach Hanley is meant for men who want to make skincare uncomplicated, guys. You don't need 10, 20 different products in your bathroom. All you need is a step-by-step -step system that Teach Hanley provides you. And yes, they also have the acne system too. However, with this, I like the level three Teach Box. And the reason why I like this, especially after my post acne, it's because it's so easy to do and it works. Now with the system, you're gonna get a face cleanser. This is a gentle face cleanser that you're gonna use twice a day, every single day. Sometimes I use it even three times a day. After that, you're gonna follow up with the super serum. And this is more of a preventive thing for those fine lines and wrinkles alongside with the eye serum. And then lastly, you follow up with your moisturizers. AM will be used throughout the day because it has SPF in it to help you avoid those fine lines and wrinkles that is caused by UV light. And then at night, you're gonna use a PM moisturizer. And like I said, they also have the acne system or if you have body acne, they also have treatments for that. So they got everything you need if you don't have a skincare routine right now. And it's something that I highly recommend. So to get your first box of Teach Hanley for 30% off alongside with the free gift, go ahead and tap the link down below in the description. Trust me, using this approach I'm about to tell you right now, a long time with Teach Hanley, you're gonna thank me later. So if you notice the past few weeks, my face has been a bit swollen and that's because I recently actually got this treatment done. And what I got done was subcision plus fat grafting. So subcision is basically when they take some sort of needle go underneath the skin and break the tethers from underneath the skin in order to lift up the acne scars, the atrophic acne scars that were causing those dents and the scars, right? And it lifts it and gives it a more fuller appearance. Now, plenty of people see results just with subcision. However, my doctor did a little twist. Not only did he do subcision, but he also did fat grafting, which means that he took fat from about my thigh area did the subcision and then filled the rest with my own fat to really give it that full appearance look. And then once the swelling goes down, which a lot of it has gone down now, then it's gonna look very, very good. And this is pretty much the best way to treat acne scars from a surgical approach 
if you wanna do it the right way. So before starting my treatment, my doctor recommended an eight week cycle to fix my hyperpigmentation by using hydroquinone. So that's why, once again, a few months ago, if you noticed my face was getting very, very light, and some of you guys were commenting that I was looking pale, I was looking sick, that's because I was using hydroquinone, which was a skin lightening agent that inhibits melanin production. So that fixed the hyperpigmentation temporarily, and then that's when I got the procedure done after eight weeks. He actually didn't only do that. He also did a third method called excision. Now, excision is where you literally cut out the acne scar, you puncture it out, and then you stitch it back together, right? That's the third best method in order to fix atrophic acne scars is a method called excision or sometimes called punch excision. I got all three, subcision, fat grafting, and excision. So all in this one treatment, he pit out the scars that were best if they were subsized, and then he filled it with fat. And then for the other scars, the ice pick scars, I believe, work best with excision. So that's when he decided to do the excision process. And that's why I had stitches more so on the left side of my face because those scars needed to be excised more. And now so far, it's been a little over a month and the results have been absolutely amazing. Better than any laser treatment, better than any chemical pill or micro needling treatment I've ever gotten. And I can finally say that I feel way more confident in my skin. And I feel like if you guys have acne scars too, definitely look into a procedure like this. I will also say that it's not cheap. This is definitely more expensive than lasers, chemical pills, or anything like that. My total cost was around $4,000 around that. Um, so you're gonna have to find a doctor in your area or maybe fly to somebody who will get you the best results you feel are possible. All right, so that's how I fix my acne scars. And as time goes on, we'll see how it plays out. And thank you guys for watching subscribe. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace.